How is it going, guys? And welcome back to my return to Pokémon Academy Life. Uh, now we're gonna to do, we're gonna do something a little bit different starting from today. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a question of the day. Don't know where it'll be in the layout. Maybe there or there, like there or there or maybe even right here. <laughs> But today's question of the day will be, if you were in this Cobra uh, Khan Academy, what type of electives would you choose and why? So yeah, let me know down in the description, not in the description, in the comments, <laughs> what you think about that, uh, what your type of electives would be and why. And yeah, speaking of choices to make, so smooth, I'm so smooth, I can't deal with it, we need to make a choice on what type, uh, not type elective, what club we would like to join. I don't know if we would be uh, joining a club, but, you see, <laughs> I don't want to pick the dance club, but that would be the one that I would be most inclined to join, because I'm a performing artist, I'm an actor, I do physical theatre, I'm slightly well versed in dance. Uh, I, I know that that's a strange thing to say, because I look like I'm not going to go anywhere near dance, but uh, I'm, I'm slightly well versed in, in uh, the principles of dance, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't pick it, because it's Tiano, and apart from dance, I don't really like the outdoors at all, because pollen. I am really hay fevery, so if I pick the outdoors one, I would die. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to walk, I wouldn't be able to breathe, I'd keep sneezing every 10 seconds. So, it's between the battle team, photography club, the coordinate club, or the cheer team. Kind of rule out the cheer team, kind of rule out the photography club, it's between coordinator and, uh, and battle for me. Ah, oh, I think it might have to be the battle team. No, I can't. Oh, I want to pick out! <sighs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I wish I could- you know what, I'm gonna leave this up to Twitter, I'm gonna do the first thing possible, I'm gonna, like, use this for the first time, I'm gonna leave it up to Twitter. Be right back. So overwhelmingly, you guys asked me to join the battle team. Uh, strange, because I was sure that you were gonna- <laughs> you were gonna pick the dance club or- or- or something, but, uh, no. No, you- you guys wanted the battle team, so we'll go with that. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not too happy. I kind of wanted to pick the outdoors club because Leaf's in it, and I I like Leaf, but I gotta stay true to myself. I play it how I want to play it. I would I would join the dance team, but not if it was just uh, not if it was just Tiano there. So uh, no. Even though I know a certain someone is also interested in it, I feel like it would be a really cool team to be part of. Not to mention getting a chance to participate in the national tournament, the battle team. It sounds a little scary, but it looks like something I can really find myself interested in. I was thinking of joining too, eventually. Yes! Boom! <laughs> but I think it's a little early to be thinking about that. Didn't you hear what Bruno and Alda said? I agree. We should listen to our teachers. Not to be overly disparaging, but I think it's too far out of reach for new students like us. Mmm, that blue writing makes me think that's an important thing he's just said. Hey, I think it's cool. <laughs> I think it's cool that Alex is thinking of the battle team. More power to you, man. Yeah, and if Alex wins the national tournament, would it be so cool to tell everyone that he's our friend? Ooh, we'd be friends with a celebrity. Hey, Alex, make sure to get to the national tournament and win one for us, buddy. You two sure know how to inspire somebody. So our clubs meet every day, or is it every other day? Uh, so do clubs meet every day, or is it every other day? I believe that it depends on the club, but generally, a club activities are, are held two to three times a week, except Sunday. At least that's how it is for the photography club. It's the same for the outdoors club. They meet on Mondays and Thursdays after school, and on Saturday mornings. Attendance isn't mandatory, is it? I think it is. Oh no! I'm terrified of commitment! I'm ter- Oh god damn it. That's good to hear. Oh, May. May, May, May. I'm sure attendance depends on the club as well, but I think it's safe to say that joining a club requires serious commitment. I know that some more of the competitive and selective clubs have a very strict attendance policy. We can always find out for sure later. We still got a week to decide. But check it out! The line's thinning over at the seafood station. Wanna grab some of that, some of that masculine, Shona? Yes, please! We've been talking so much that we've barely touched our food. We should clean this up before lunch is over. I'm full! You can have the rest of mine if you want, Brendan. Aw, oh, man! Stop it! You're breaking my heart, girl! You're breaking my heart! 
Anyway, how are classes going so far, everyone? Ha! <laughs> Where do I even start? We listen to Leaf complain about school as we finish up our lunches. As we get ready to move to our next class, I realise that this is the first time in a while where I had lunch with such a lively group of friends. At least in school. No, because he only had Pringle. Damn Pringle. It's almost a shame that I have to go to class, but I can't say I'm not anticipating my next class either. Looks like I have my fire type elective coming up. Yeah, I really should have picked Fairy. That would have been cool. Round two. I mean, Birmingham Spritzy. It should have been Fairy. For the entire way here, May had a huge grin on her face. Hey, Alex, what a coincidence. I bet she was waiting the whole time to say that. You know when you're just waiting for the perfect moment to tell a good joke and then it just appears? I reckon it was like that. It's not much of a surprise if you told me what electives you were choosing before classes start, you know. Oops, you're right, I did tell you. But the most important thing is that we have three classes together. Yeah, you looking forward to it? You bet. Damn it! You're so cute! As I walked in, I nearly missed Flannery sitting near the back of the room. I don't know how I could have missed her. Her giant hair is unmistakable. I don't think she realises I'm here. No, she probably doesn't care though. Oh, Blaine, what am I going to do for you? Hello, students. Hmm, no, no, Blaine. Hmm. Blaine, Blaine. Hmm, how do I do you? Hello, students. I'll wager you're all very excited to be here, yes? Well, it doesn't matter if you are or not, because you will. This is the fire class. For all you knuckleheads, it might be in the wrong class, and I'll be your instructor for the semester. This voice hurts, but I like doing it. You can call me Blaine. I've been researching fire-type Pokemon since your parents were in their diapers. Yes, fire is one of the most popular Pokemon types, and I am not surprised I have so many students in here. Why, back in the day, at least one fire Pokemon was found on the World Champions team for 20 years running. No other type has that honor. That's because fire type Pokemon have all the best aspects of strength and intelligence. They are naturally powerful. There's no need for any of that silly effort training this generation is so obsessed with. EV training, you dickhead! <laughs> I remember when I was your age, my Magby and I used to. This goes on for over half an hour. I can barely keep my eyes open listening to this guy prattle on. I'm feeling really tired all of a sudden. A wave of exhaustion hits me and I can feel myself falling asleep. My head slowly tips forward as I drift into unconsciousness. Slap. <laughs> did, the, ah, did the person behind me just kick me? As I turn around, I see a sophisticated looking girl staring at me. I don't know what to say, so I stare straight back at her. What? And did you need something? I'm simply doing you a favor. Well, what might that be? Do you really think that it's acceptable to fall asleep in class on the first day? Was it that obvious? Oh, so that's what you were doing. Ah, uh, sorry. I appreciate the help. Don't mention it. I can see why you would feel a bit drained listening to all of this. No kidding. Oh, where are my manners? My name's Serena. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. I wanted to wear a French accent, but my French accent is piss poor. Like, really bad. The pleasure is all mine. My name is Serena. My name is Selina. No, I'm not doing it. I'll just, give, I'll just give her a soft British one for now. Speaking of feeling a bit drained... LOL! <laughs> I look over to where Flannery's sitting and find her face down on her desk. I know she said she couldn't handle mornings, but the school day's almost over. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, God. That was a horrible sound. I apologize to all of you. Oh, my. Zzz. Is that... <laughs> what? What is that dreadful noise? Is it coming from that girl over there? Flannery, hey! Flannery, wake up! Your snoring is really loud! Well, I don't snore! <laughs> She's just like wide-eyed like, oh. Pardon me. Sorry, my hearing's not as good as it used to be, little missy. Uh, I said I love Baldors or something. I see. Thank you for sharing that with us, but this is the fire class, not the rock class. If you want to discuss rock Pokemon, you can speak with me after class. Right. Sorry. Moving on. When the wonders of trading was first invented, the capsule system is Flannery embarrassed. She's kind of cute to watch. What are you staring at? Uh, n nothing. Luckily, the PC changed all that. No more carrier pitches. No. Hmm. 
Looks like our time is up. No homework for the first day. Class is dismissed. Aww. Blaine seems like a cool teacher. Although I have Price and Blaine. That would have... Nah, I don't like that. I don't like Price and Blaine. Still one more class though. Gotta finish strong. Yeah. My last class. Which is with Prof Oak. Yeah. Prof Oak. Having a smoke. So toxic like a toxic croak. Oh. Boss. Let's pretend I never did that. <laughs> we return to homeroom as the school day draws to a close. The day didn't feel like it dragged on for that long, but all things considered, I'm really, I'm ready to call it. Judging by the looks on everyone's faces, they look like they're ready too. The final period burns through while we listen to Professor Oak talk about rather trivial matters. It's weird. I was expecting class with the professor to be a little more, how shall I put it, fulfilling? At least that's what my other class works when, uh, at least that's what my other classmates were making it out to be earlier in the day. But so far I haven't taken anything out of homeroom that's especially memorable, other than the scary speech about the school's graduation rate. Maybe he's unprepared? But that's really unlike him. I can tell by the look in your eyes that you're all quite tired of listening to me prattle on. To tell you the truth, I'm tired of it too. <laughs> but before I dismiss you, let me give you all a welcoming gift, a celebration for your acceptance into, Co into Cobacon Academy. Are those what I think they are? If so, then this class just got a little more exciting. Today, each of you will be taking home a Pokemon for yourself, courtesy of the Academy. In each of these Pokeballs that you receive is a random, unevolved, untamed Pokemon. Consider them your homework for the next three years. Hey, I got plenty of Pokemon back home already. I don't need any more, especially unevolved ones. Regardless of the Pokemon you may already own, these Pokemon will be required to stay on hand for the rest of your time in Cobacon Academy. At the end of your third year, the, this Pokemon will be reviewed along with yourself and other potential Pokemon in your party to determine whether or not you can graduate. Great! I just love being forced to take on liabilities! That's the spirit, Pringle! So that's how they do it. I had, I had assumed this school wasn't going to be all about good grades, so this isn't a complete shocker. I'll call you up one by one to receive your Pokemon. Remember, what you get is all you uh, what you get is what you get. This takes me back to when I was a kid and Professor Oak gave me Sparky. It was the same situation. I didn't get much of a choice. But in retrospect, I thought that it was the best day of my life. Times were simpler back then. I got a Vulpix? Woohoo! I didn't realise we were getting such high-grade Pokemon. I was thinking we were getting nothing but Rattatas and Bidoof. What's wrong with Bidoof? Bidoof is good with Sword Stance Quick Attack now. It's class. Not that I wouldn't be happy with either of those. I'm grateful for getting anything at all, but it would kind of suck knowing I got one of those when I when someone else got a Vulpix. Alex! Phew. Okay, here goes. The moment of truth. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna end up getting a I'm gonna end up getting a Rattata or a, or a Bidoof. Whatever gods are out there watching me, please don't let me down. Charmander! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Called it. I I've seen this before. I've seen this before. Congratulations, it's a Charmander. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. I- What? You're not pulling my leg, are you? I am not pulling anyone's leg. He's in your care now. Alright! A Charmander? Today's my lucky day. I didn't know what to expect, but everything somehow turned out better than I could have imagined. Thank you, I knew the gods were looking after me. You got a starter Pokemon too, Alex? Two? Did you also get a starter? You bet I did. Say hello to Bulbasaur. Well, I'm going to keep him in his Pokeball for now, so I don't think he can hear you, but whatever. He's going to be awesome. Your Charmander should play with my Bulbasaur sometime. If you know what I mean. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> it's only natural that our Pokemon should be best friends like their trainers. Since when were we best friend? You got a Charmander, Alex? Ha! <laughs> That's perfect. He just has to ruin every happy moment I get. What's wrong with a Charmander? Oh, nothing really. Except it won't stand a chance against my Squirtle! <laughs> what? It must be divine retribution. You're never gonna beat me, even at random draws. <laughs> really? A Squirtle? Of all the Pokemon he has to get, he has to get that one? Yo, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Blue, this isn't the time or the place for that. Psh, whatever. My Pokemon looks a lot stronger anyway. Hey, leave him alone. It's not nice to bully others. Oh, uh, I, uh, and for your information, I got a fire started too. Just ignore him. What did you get, May? A Torchic. I love fire types, so she and I are going to be best buds. I just know it. Ha, <laughs> a Torchic really suits you, May. I mean, your bow already kind of reminds me of their fuzzy heads. Hey, 
you're right. You hear that, Torchy? This was fate. You and me were meant to be. You guys got starters. Lucky. Oh, God. Four female voices. I can't deal with the females. <laughs> yeah, maybe just a little. What Pokemon did you guys get? A Cleffa. It's a different kind of cute compared to my Miltank, but I'll take it. I heard these little tykes are really rare. I got a Nummel. I'm taking the Fire and Ground elective, so I'd say this worked out okay. It might take me a while to get used to the whole camel thing it's got going on, though. But it's one of the few Pokemon in the world that can learn Eruption. I don't know what there, there, I don't know all there is to know about Fire Pokemon, but isn't that move super good? I mean, I guess it's alright, but I was hoping for something that isn't a Fire type for once. I got enough of those back home. I see out of the corner of my eye Hilbert, uh, Hilbert eavesdropping on our conversation. He looks unsure or not. Uh, he looks unsure whether or not to join in, so I'll save him the trouble of deciding. What about you, Hilbert? Huh? Oh, I got a Tepic. Damn, three fire starters. All of a sudden, I'm starting to feel a lot, a little less special. Oh, Tepics are so adorable. At least until they, they become Embors. Hey, are you gonna evolve your Tepic? Probably. Aw, oh, that's too bad. I can't wait to play with my Torchic. She's gonna have so much fun with my Skitty when she gets here. We can bring our Pokemon here from home. The professor said it. Uh, the professor said that it doesn't matter what other Pokemon we have in our party. So yeah, I'm getting my Jigglypuff and Nidoran sent here tomorrow morning. I need to get them out of the Pokemon Center. They've been in there for months. If they're anything like me, they can't sit still for too long. That's not good. Have you been giving them their vitamins at all? Of course. What kind of trainer would I be? Vitamins? I'm getting some vibes that I'm like, I'm maybe not, I'm not, ah. I'm getting some vibes that maybe I'm not the most experienced trainer in the room right now. I mean, I've dealt with my fair share, but Sparky's really the only one I, I've ever owned. Once again, I've got this nagging feeling that I'm a few steps behind everyone. If this keeps up, I might, like, I might get left behind. What are you all still standing around for? Class is over. Go home already. No, I don't want to. Right, let's check how long we've been recording for. And we might have to leave this next bit until next episode. I really feel like I should. Yeah, we'll call this one as an early episode. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and answer the question of the day in the comment section down below. All of the Twitter links to the uh, to the game devs and all of that good stuff will be in the description uh, to my Twitter as well if you want to see random stuff when I tweet. So yeah, have a good day and I'll see you guys later. See you later, guys.